What is up, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Local Band Smoke Out Australia. I'm your host, and today we are going to be checking out Max Roxton with the track I'm Back. Uh, you can check this, uh, oh, well, him, I would assume it's a one man thing with the band, but uh, you can check him out at Max Roxton Official. Um, we did play this on the stream, I think last week or the week before, I can't remember, but I wanted, I, I remember hearing this going, okay, this stands out, this is pretty dope. I want to check more of this out. So, uh, without further ado, let's just get straight into it. Uh, at Mac Rocks, Ma at Max Roxton official. Let's go. <laughs> Yes, I do. I remember this is the one where I said the drummer looks like the, the the love child of Chris Adler, Taylor Hawkins, and Dave Grohl in the same human being. Love your grits there. It's fucking, this is banging, man. This is just a really good, like, hard rock kind of track. It's fucking sick.
Yo, that slaps. That's cool, man. Max Roxton, this track, I'm back. Um, I gotta think about this one. There's a lot of cool stuff on it. It's really good, actually. Um, okay. Let's just get straight into it. So, if you haven't seen a review before, I generally put my reviews into three categories. Uh, musicality, uh, production value, and visuals. Um, which one to start with? Okay, I'm going to start straight off the back with production value. I thought it was really, really good production. There was a good balance. I think some parts, and I, always, I think I say it so much, but it's like you can always pull your vocals up just a little bit more. Um, the one thing I will say is you could hear it um, with the production value. You can hear it. Um, there's some awesome subtle harmonies you got going in there. It's really chunky uh, guitar sounds, really chunky drum sounds. Uh, some good double tracking of the vocals that are really good. Um, yeah, I kind of feel this is pretty damn good for production value, to be honest. There's not much really to, uh, else to say on that. Um, with the uh, musicality, I think there are some awesome chunky riffs. There are some happy riffs. It reminds me a bit of... Um, some parts reminds me of a band called Gay Paris from Sydney. Oh, I don't know if they're still together or not, but they would. They, kind of reminds me of that a little bit. There's there's a bit of uniqueness to like the notes that he's choosing to use. Um, the grit of the of the singer, who I assume is Max, um, has a really good strong vocal tone, really strong like heavy rock kind of sound. Um, for the video, again, simple but effective. Really good lighting show. Really good shots. It's cool. I really, really, really like it. So, uh, look, with this one, I'm going to give it... Um, I don't know what to give it. Okay, I'm going to give this one an 8.5. Yeah, I think that's a really good, a good number to give this one because it's a fucking solid track. So, um, yeah, go and check him out. Max Roxton. Check him out at Max Roston Official. No, oh, hold on. Yeah, Matt, Max Ross, Roxton Official. Fuck. I try and say that one five times without stumbling. Um, yeah, solid work, man. I think you did a really good job with this one. I'm really curious to see what, what you come out with next, man. Um, until then, guys, I'll see you in the next episode. <laughs>